Guess nothing beats hand washing. New researchers found that certain germs are becoming more and more resistant to hand sanitizers. Alcohol-based disinfectants are widely used to eliminate germs and have proven effective against reducing infections like those caused by the Staphylococcus bacteria. But a recent study noticed a rise in enterococcal infections, suggesting that the bacteria that causes it may have developed a tolerance to alcohol. Alcohol is believed to kill bacteria by dissolving their cellular membrane, so it was thought that germs and viruses were unable to adapt to it. Researchers analyzed 139 types of bacteria from 1997 to 2015 and found that, on average, those taken after 2009 tolerated alcohol more than pre-2004 strains. Further testing showed that the alcohol-tolerant bacteria appeared in the guts of mice even after their cages were cleaned with sanitizing wipes. Currently, the enterococcus bacteria can only be killed with a 70% alcohol solution, though it's unclear if the bacteria could mutate to tolerate higher concentrations or even build total resistance. The study's authors say this doesn't mean people should give up hand sanitizers altogether, but there's a strong indication washing with soap and water is still the best way to eliminate germs. There's just no getting away from them. Nightmare bacteria spreading across U.S. hospitals. Stay away from U.S. hospitals and stop dropping antibiotics like they're candy. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, nightmare bacteria that are resistant to almost all antibiotics are spreading across U.S. hospitals. The CDC found 221 cases in 2017 of a rare breed of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. One in four germ samples analyzed by the CDC found special genes that allow them to spread resistance to other bacteria. The CDC also said in 11% of people tested carried these superbugs without displaying any symptoms. People infected with these bacteria spread the disease to other people in the hospital, such as patients, doctors, and nurses. These people can then in turn act as silent carriers and infect others even if they don't become sick themselves. According to the CDC, every year about 2 million Americans are sickened from antibiotic-resistant infections, while more than 23,000 patients are killed. Germ cloud that surrounds each person is unique, like a fingerprint. Our bodies are teeming with millions of bacteria that we shed into the air continuously. A new study published in the open access journal Peer J has shown that the microbes we shed form our own personal germ cloud. Researchers found that microbes in unoccupied and occupied spaces are different, since bodies give off different particles during movement. After putting three people in a room for four hours, they were able to identify each person based on their unique microbial signature. While the types of germs emitted are more or less the same, the ratio differs per person. Differences like gender stand out, as certain microbes like lactobacillus are more commonly found in women. These findings could help shed light on how infectious diseases are transmitted, while microbial clouds, like fingerprints, may someday be useful in forensics. Bluebell knew its ice cream was tainted with deadly bacteria. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has released a report stating that Bluebell knew about the bacteria Listeria in their manufacturing plants dating all the way back to 2013. Listeria originates from water, soil, and infected animals and makes its way into food plants. The bacteria is difficult to track as it can withstand refrigeration temperatures and exist in frozen products for years. Most healthy adults are not at high risk of becoming seriously ill from listeria. The people most susceptible to the bacteria are pregnant women, infants, elderly people, and those with compromised immune systems. The symptoms of listeriosis include muscle aches, diarrhea, headache, stiff neck, and confusion. The best way consumers can avoid infection is to wash fruits and vegetables completely and cook food thoroughly. According to Forbes, the Center of Disease Control has reported eight outbreaks of listeria since 2011. Five of these outbreaks have occurred since 2014. Plague could be older than previously thought. Scientists have unearthed data that changes current thinking on how old the plague is. Research published in the journal Nature Communication describes how scientists found the bacterium Yersinia pestis on the teeth of 3,800-year-old human remains in Samara, Russia. Researchers looked at the remains of nine people, two of them had the bacteria. Yersinia pestis gave rise to the bubonic plague. 
The scientists used sequencing to analyze the samples and found that they predate current thinking on the plague's lineage, 3,000 years, by around 1,000 years. That puts it somewhere in the Bronze Age. Ever heard of the Black Death, Tomo sapiens? It's an ancient plague that racked up a body count of over 300 million people. That's what the bacteria they found could lead to back then. Researchers suggest that there was at least two strains of plague lineage floating around at the time. Previously, it was suggested to be one. Parasites and bacteria like lurking in hotel pools. You know, all people do is number one and number two at hotel pools, right? You. According to the CDC's Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report, hotel pools and hot tubs were linked to a third of all swimming-related disease outbreaks between 2000 to 2014. During that time, a total of 493 outbreaks linked to chlorinated or treated water were reported in 46 states and Puerto Rico. In total, the outbreaks led to over 27,000 illnesses and eight deaths. Cryptosporidium, also known as Crypto, Pseudomonas, and Legionella were responsible for many of the outbreaks. Crypto is a parasite that can survive even in properly maintained pools. Pseudomonas and Legionella are bacteria that can survive disinfectants in slimy areas of hot tubs, pools, and water parks. The CDC report also outlined tips on how to protect from germs while at the pool. The most common sense one being, don't drink the water, Einstein. Confirmed, flies are gross. New research has found that flies hold more dodgy bacteria than scientists previously believed. Scientists found over 600 bacteria inside an analysis of 116 flies. The insects can transmit harmful bacteria to food via their feet, legs, or wings. House flies were laden with 351 different kinds of bacteria, while the blowfly was found to contain 316 types. Scientists believe that flies bred with no germs could be used as a means to observe and measure public health. These would be released into the environment before being captured at a later date for analysis. Would you eat your food if a bug landed on it?